Hello guys and welcome to this video. Today I want to show you how to make Emulation Station your default launcher on the RG350. Since we all use our device for retro gaming, we want to have a front end that fits to our needs and I think Emulation Station is the perfect front end for this. But for default the RG350 boots into some operating system menu the G menu X where you have your emulators not very well organized it doesn't have the look and feel of a real gaming handheld front end and this is where emulation station closes the gap and from the first day I saw that emulation station can be installed to the RG350 I really wanted to have emulation station my default launcher so therefore we want to boot right into a front end like emulation station where we see all our emulators well organized together with our ROMs and if we quit emulation station we might want to jump into a menu or an operating system where we can do other stuff beside playing our favorite games and this is what I've done I wrote a little script that achieves this and I don't want to make you guys wait any longer. Let me show you how you can get it to your device. Let's go. All right, let's get started. If you follow my link in the video description, you will get to my Google Drive. Um, there, I shared a folder with you guys. Uh, it's called MeshTech, and it contains another folder called Emulation Station. We jump in there. You will find two more folders. One called front end start ES and one called front end start original um, the original one is for backup so if anything runs wrong or you want to jump back to original conditions just get the file from in there and put it to the location I'm gonna show you in the next step but for now we are gonna focus on the front end start ES folder in there you will find a script called front end start we are gonna download that script and there it is and this script we're gonna need to copy to our RG350 so let's connect to the RG350 we have to navigate to the folder called data local so media data local aspin <clears throat> and as you can see it already contains a front end start script that's the one we're gonna replace with the one that I shared with you guys I already did that so um, for me it's just gonna overwrite with the same file and that's it from now on your RG360 will automatically boot into emulation station for sure it needs emulation station to be installed to your system even if it's not installed I uh, adapted the script to um, search for emulation station if it doesn't find emulation station it's gonna boot to your regular default menu on your system okay now let's have a look on the device now that you just copied the script to the device let's wake it up from um, suspend mode and give it a short reboot okay and see what happens So the device is booting up and if everything went right it should jump right into emulation station and here we are. I hope you like this little modification for emulation station on the RG350. Um, please keep in mind the emulation station port is um, currently in a development status so uh, it might not perform too well with listing ROMs. Um, yesterday we recognized that there is a limited number of ROMs that Emulation Station can handle but development is in progress. People are working on this um, and I think we will get a better or even better versions of it in the future. Um, I just want to let you know that a friend of mine called 
Doom Jedi is working on box art and ROM description stuff for you guys. As you can see, things are in progress and uh, in the near future we will see a lot more work being done on emulation station for the RG350. So thank you for watching my video today. Um, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe my channel so I will provide you with more videos and um, news about this uh, in the future. Stay tuned and happy gaming. See you.